For the first time tonight, we're hearing from the family of an 11 year old boy killed in a hit and run crash. 11 year old Amari Roseboro was hit by a car and killed while riding his bike on Friday along Glenwood Drive. Today, his family was in court as the driver accused in this crash faced a judge on multiple felony charges. NBC Charlotte's Brianna Harper has the update and it's all new tonight. The suspect, 19-year-old Rodney McCorkle Jr. stood in court today accused of hitting that child on the bike, then quickly taking off. I spoke to Amari's parents who tell me that they're devastated that the driver didn't even have enough decency to check to see if their young child was okay. It was a tragic phone call no mother hopes to ever hear. It was like your son got hit, he's not breathing. That's when mom Apollonia Snipes says she literally ran to the crash scene here on Glenwood Drive, but it was too late. They was working on him in the back of the ambulance and from there, he was actually dead on the scene. She says her son, 11 year old Amari, nicknamed Tank, had been playing with friends earlier on Friday afternoon. We're told after the play date, he was riding his bike headed back home, but sadly never made it. It's been very hard. Absolutely. Like for the family, for his family, friends. friends. Police say the driver that hit and ran is 19 year old Rodney McCorkle Jr., who eventually turned himself in after his mother reported the crime to police. Today, McCorkle faced a judge charged with felony hit and run, possession of a stolen car, and drug paraphernalia. But we're told his response to these allegations were disheartening. He didn't seem remorseful. He didn't even look like he cared. Like he, like he, like he just like didn't he had care. nothing happen. But for this family, it's a crash that has changed everything. I haven't really slept. I haven't really ate. Nothing. Because I'm so used to him being there. But now he's gone. I'm never going to see him again. Gone, but certainly not forgotten. He would light the room up. It's memories like this Amari's parents hold on to to help keep the spirit of their son alive. Every person that he met, he brought a smile to their face. Yep. And if you would like to donate to help cover funeral calls for Amari, you can visit WCNC.com where you'll find a link to the GoFundMe page. Reporting in Uptown, Brianna Harper, NBC Charlotte.